Hi, back again. We go. We see we have to make here a wall down under the window, and here must be open up, and then come see the street down. So, at first we must open the middle part there. That's here. So we go there. And we must cut here and there. So we take your tools, knife, and go from there to there and cut that through. Same on the other side. Then we can delete here these edges. edges look that was the other side but it is open that is the best on this x edges edges that is long but we can get them away so we have opened up uh, the door there. Now there comes the wall down under. And this wall should be as high. That is as high as one of these stages there. So we create a wall like that. So that means we take here, add, mesh, a plane, rotate x 90 degrees, scale down to the size of, our, of this here. So we grab it there, that can be the high, and that starts from there to there. And on the other side, from there to there. That is the wall there. Um, we need to mark seam that. So we can take that and mark seam. Same with the other one. Then we can take there and unwrap here and unwrap too. So, and when we now look it correctly, you will see that the street goes through there and goes high away there. And here is the uh, original base of the house. So that goes straight up there. And that means we have to go from here, uh, better we join them together both as one. Then we take here these edges and bring them to the back of the house. So extrude and go back. And here at the end, we are will be on the same high um, like the bottom there is. So. That means when we take that here and bring that then up to, that is this part that goes through there. To get the better result, we close here. Not would have, but here. We extrude and bring it here to the side. And here too. Extrude and bring it to the side. Now we can close that all. So we get that, that, and that. I have to close. And the down part. We don't need to the down part because never will somebody see that. But you can do that if you want. So um, I make here the top closed because that you can maybe see. 
when it is not correctly modeled and so you can't see it good we have done that that is okay um, we now mark seam that again complete and object apply rotation scale and then we unwrap that again and we need here this um, wall material this one there um, I must look how the name is this material too that may be not the right one but we copy that material A to select all control C to copy then we go here new and we call it bottom house uh, schräg yeah wall good then we plug that in there so we can delete all that is there and control V to plug that in and you see directly that appears there but that is too too heavy there so we have to increase the scale must be a way through that so we can make here a way F to close but there we need another material for sure that is new material way through house that we let in white in a moment we must place there another color later so we have done that file save and when we now look there more we will see that before the house there is this giant wall there and that we build now that goes down to the end of the wall there So, and that means we place it there, uh, add mesh cube, scale down, scale X, that should be the wall, and it is on this high, so we can scale set a little. such like that good and it is surely much longer so we take that and make that longer then we need here um, loop so control R make a loop in plug it there and get this part to the other side so X shoot and bring it there that is our wall there uh that is a little too small there i think so i go here a little bit more out good then we make here an open for the door um but we cut that through with a boolean so before we do that we need here loops one there and one there and why we need that because we want to high up that 
so that means we take that here and bring that up to that is this wall character um, then we mark seam that directly and this here too mark seam and the down part here to mark seam and the back of it this one we can delete we don't need it that one too so here that should be mark seamed that one we don't need because that goes into a rock later so here is the down part and here this middle line and the top lines here mark seam and here this side surely and the bottom there good that should be that wall I think that one we can mark too so we at first have to apply the rotation scale of it then oh we have here an arrow i think yes we must cut through there so tools knife from there to there cut now it is correctly so we can use there now on mark scene 2 and again apply rotation scale set the origin to geometry u to unwrap we have that we need this warm material again so we call it out uh, wall one and we take the material from that one there so take that here Control C and plug it in our new material so we can delete this both and Control V to plug that in and we have the new wall there. Good. Um, that is too sharp for me. So we Control B, we bevel that a little that it isn't that sharp. and the same we do here with this loop control b and it not must be accurate because that is an old wall so all is okay good file save this one must have a bottom that's for sure so we add mesh plane scale down and place them there at the bottom so that is that uh, top view edit mode mark seam you unwrap and object apply rotation scale set origin to geometry and unwrap again good file save so we must cut here a hole in for the door so we have to build a door opener so add mesh circle rotate x90 scale down think for the door yeah that can be so edit mode and delete the down part and then go down with that 
F to close, all to select, F to close, E to extrude in the back. That is our cutting stuff. So, object, apply, rotation, scale. The same for the wall. Object, apply, rotation, scale. We need the name of that. The name is circle 8. Now we bring them into there where we want to cut. That is there. And now we cut through. That is circle 8. So we get here the boolean. Say difference circle 8 apply. And we have the hole in. We only have to close that now. So that means we take this whole part there. Uh, with background selection and border selection. And then we can say spacebar search and we take bridge bridge edge loop then we close it automatically uh, we have to unwrap that too good there comes now the door in then so we can take shift D simply that here and that should be our door then so we bring that near there and we have the door that one we can move to second layer we don't need it in a moment plug them there and as you see in the picture of there uh, here there is the door open in this spaces um, so we will open them later we have to cut in here three holes also you see that so three holes in file save as new version number that is the 11 save as then we plug in here this hole so mesh add cube scale down mm, scale set and scale x that is one of them and we need more than one so scale y and shift d place one there scale y a little and shift d place one there so we have that three join them together as one say apply the rotation scale of it, set the origin to J on the tree same with the wall object apply rotation scale get the name of this uh, is cube 200 <laughs> wow we done much what now it's 236 cube good um, then we go to our wall take the boolean again say difference and cube point 236 and apply that so the holes are in now we have to close them and there we can do the same as we did with the door we mark one and then spacebar bridge edge loops and give them then directly an unwrap uh, but maybe we must make it later with the better uh, topology then but for the start it is like this uh, so what I want to say uh, that is closed, that is good, so we only need here an unwrap and here an unwrap too so that is our unwrap there 
and we see that don't looks good so we take another version we take here QP projection that is better and we can scale it a little such like that and that looks better that was Q protection projection so we take it here too you Q protection pro projection you can change here the direction sure of that uh, you cube projection good this door is too long at the bottom so we can take here this part and bring that up too we must cut them off later to place there the uh, door in and we need here material for the bottom that's for sure M to move to second layer we need space there file save so the connection from the house to the tower we see there is a house after that house and then the wall goes straight to the tower so at first we make that wall simply and here down under the house is a wall too that is as high as one of the stages there so that means must look how far that goes I think complete yeah goes complete under that okay so uh, we have to place here the wall so add mesh uh, cube scale down we place it there but we must look that we are not come too high there because then the windows are gone so we take here the top part and make them a little bit lower so we have that we scale in the X to make it smaller such like that then we take here this face and bring it to the back from there it goes later straight there and then to the other one um, we make here separate parts I would say so we take all and mark seam first then we have to object apply rotation scale we set a new material we call it straight wall one good uh, we give them the material as the other two so we delete that control V to plug that in and that needs an unwrap so object apply rotation scale and you unwrap so we have the wall done down there that is good then comes here the straight line and then it goes through yeah through the tower there so shift D we can plug there some think the house goes later it's a little small house so it comes there and that comes there but it is higher and I think it is this high that we have there let's look at the original the high of the wall goes through the tower and on the roof of the other so that is higher than the other so it can be such like that yes so we have here to apply the object again and you unwrap new 
So that's that. Uh, we need for sure the streets that come up here and the little house there. And we need here this uh, stripes too. So we make them fast. That means we need here add mesh cube, scale down, scale set, scale Y. Why? So bring it down under the window and scale X that we come through the whole house. Then scale X that it looks only a little out. Yes. Then we mark seam that. We apply the rotation scale of it and you unwrap it file save we take the same material as there the material border texture one so we take it there too border texture one there is it and then we have that directly and we place one down there too but that should be a little bit bigger so we scale the whole thing in the set and then we have it so that looks more interesting fire save good um, down under here comes a um, wall too it must be a long long wall so we can take that here, shift D. And the problem with this wall then is that is more back and it must here be smaller because it is a way to go through the tower in that way. So that means we take here that one, bring that down and the way uh, goes then later here too up to the other stage there you see it here there's the tower that is this part and there you go up to the tower uh, and that we make that later this um, calendar there and then it's good we have to do then next time this little house I spoken and the street that comes up there down this part and the opener there plus plus the wall there yeah and the street there and then um, we are uh, much better as in the moment good we done that that can be a little bit higher I think yes and we can make a bottom down there all so add mesh plane scale up and bring it down so that is this part there comes rocks later and flowers and it's all the shit there here comes the way so we see us in the next tutorial then. Thanks a lot. File safe.